All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's talk. But first, again, I want to thank all of those that gave and supported uh, Miss Christine. Uh, she was going through a lot. She's still currently going through a lot. And what I did this time was I decided I was going to get her on the phone and let you hear uh, a little bit about her because it is a real person, as you saw, and um, let her tell a story a little bit, just a little bit. You know, I'm going to antagonize her a little bit because that's kind of what I do. Um, try to make light of it and let you guys know, you know, she is extremely thankful because all I asked for was one dollar. And so far, you guys have donated up to seven hundred dollars that I damn near had to match. And I ain't too happy about that because now I can't go on a vacation. But this ain't about me. This ain't about Jay. This ain't about Jay. This is about Christine. So with that being said, good uh, morning, good afternoon, good evening. Christine, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi. How are you? I'm swell. That's well with an S in front of it. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can hear this because uh, I'm trying a new method here. Um, so, Christine, um, you're a postal worker, yay? Yes, I am. I'm a clerk. You're a clerk. I won't hold it against you. I got a lot of stuff to talk about clerks, but we're, we're not, oh, not, not, not going to talk about it right now. Um <laughs> I, you know, you're, you're something like a, a, an offset stepdaughter to me. I don't treat you like a stepchild, <laughs> but um, yes, yes. you are family. You are postal family. And I had a couple questions that I wanted to throw at you that I kind of put down. And, um, you know, just people hear your story because this is a real thing. This happens nationwide. It happens all over the world. Um, mm -hmm. And I truly appreciate that you, you know, you still, you still go to work. I don't know how you pull it off, but um, that's impressive. You, you, you like the true hero here. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> well, I won't say a true hero. I would just, well, hey, however you want to put it. But yeah, it's, it's a challenge. Um, I push myself. I, I still, you know, manage to still go. Um, they keep me active, you know. Okay. Keep me active. Okay. So. so, my first question is, what, what, um, what made you decide to share your story? So, what made me decide to come out and share my story um, is to help other people. Um, you know, everyone looked at me and be like, "Oh, you're so strong, you're so strong," but it's it's a lot that comes behind that. But I, I'm sharing. You know, especially with my age, I'm 29. Um, a first 29 to be exact. I just had a birthday in December, and I was this just um, December up. what? December the fourth, Sagittarius. Okay, you know I'm a Saggy too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so when I got diagnosed in January, on January the 16th, um, I prepared. You know, I was prepared for whatever results they gave me. And, you know, from that point on, I was like, yeah, I think I want to share this because I can help another young, you know, individual. Um, you know, so that's why I, I put my story out there and I do updates and stuff, um, especially on why well, my main thing is uh, TikTok. I do TikTok videos and I update as far as how I'm doing and how I'm managing and how I'm balancing everything. Um, as far as, you know, going to chemo and, and still go to work and being the mom. So it can be challenging. I'm not going to make it sound easy. So <laughs> that's why, you know, I, I choose to share. Okay. 
to have up someone else. So, but, but, but before we get off of this, um, I want you to share your uh, TikTok. Unfortunately, I don't have that, but I'm sure other people on here do, and that way they can follow you. But um, what has been the most challenging aspect of balancing work, parenthood, and your treatment? Um, so for me, honestly, what's, what's been challenging is, it's neither one of them. Um, as far as between my kids, uh, it, it's, it's the things that surround around me. So, um, it, well, I won't say things, I'll say the people, I should say in a way that's the most challenging. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I am a type of person, I'm nice, I have a good heart, but, you know, if anyone try to come for my juggler, I, I, I'm, I quickly, you know, respond back. So, and the reason why that's a challenge for me is because I have to be in a space of peace. I can't respond back to any and everything. I just have to, you know, let, let it be and, and just turn the left or right cheek. So that's, that's the challenging part. And between work, um, being a mom and doing the treat, like my treatments, um, you know, it can be tiring, but as for the most part is I'm able to balance it out. So that's, that's, that's very impressive because at your age, um, and, and taking on all that responsibility, uh, it's def it's definitely difficult. It, it has yeah. to be difficult with the scenario that you're going through right now. Just somebody that's your age without that situation, it's challenging. So that compounded on top of, you know, everyday life has to be, um, what are you most proud of during this period? Um, so what I'm most proud of is God, um, well, I'm a start off with God. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and grateful that God is, um, uh, with me through all of this. Like, and when I say, well, everything, every step of the way, and he made me who I am as far as being strong and stuff. Um, and he's you know, he's, he's not leaving my side, I should say that. So with this walk that I'm going through as far as, you know, being diagnosed and have to go through treatment and, and um, having to go through surgery, he's, he's with me like every step of the way. And for me, I, I'm just, you know, happy that I'm able to like, you know, get up and still maneuver you know, a little bit, you know, I do be tired. Trust me, I'm not going to say I don't be tired. It don't drain me, but, you know, I'm still able to maneuver how I, you know, how I like okay. a little bit. <laughs> okay. What kind of support has been most helpful to you? I know one of my, um, one of, one of, uh, postal family, I guess, uh, was on the phone with us for what, about 20 minutes one day and uh, took time out to pray with you. Um, what other type of support has been, you know, personally helpful for you? Um, praying um, because I, I, I do have moments where I do, you know, break down. I do have my weak moments. I do, um, you know, I just have moments because, again, I do be tired. Sometimes I don't feel as 100% of my best because of I'm a, I'm a young woman and, and I, I like to go out there and work and, you know, but sometimes I cannot put my all, if that makes sense. Like, Absolutely. I don't have the energy sometimes. So um, the praying, I'm so grateful for, uh, hey, you know, my, my family and friends, um, as far as coming with me to do my treatments, um, anyone that comes and well, I won't say anyone because I, I don't get my kids to anyone, but you know, close family and friends that but say, Hey, do you want me to come pick up the kids for you know, from you? Um, you know, and even people that has help as far as donating and stuff, because again, you know, I, I have been missing a lot of work, even though 
again, I still try to go, but I have been missing a lot of work um, as far as I had to do a second uh, surgery on my port. So, you know, I've been missing work and in my mind, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, what am I do and stuff like that. So, listen, I'm more great. I'm grateful for everything. Any help, any support, anything, I'm very much so overwhelmed, grateful, like. <laughs> okay. Um, I know you, you, you mentioned that uh, people have been coming through to help you with your children, obviously close. Um, how have your children handled everything uh, so far? Are they aware? Are they not aware? Do they understand? Um, so my son is eight and my daughter is four. Okay. My daughter, she's... Uh, okay, so I'm going to start with my son before I jump to my daughter. So my son... Um, when I got diagnosed, I didn't break the news to him. Okay. Because I just feel like as far as when it comes down to kids, it's, you know, keep it at a level of them understanding. Um, so, not saying he wouldn't understand, but I feel like you cannot feed kids too much, you know. So, when right before I got my port put in, um, in February, I had a conversation with him. And I, I explained to him, like, hey, I'm going to be getting this, this form object put inside of me so, you know, you guys can jump on me, you know, and, and you got to be very careful. Um, I just need a little more help. If mommy not feeling good, you know, play with your sister uh, or give your, you know, like, invite your sister in more. Even though he's eight and it's not his responsibility, but you know, older siblings can look out for the younger siblings. And as far as my daughter, I just explained to her like, hey, if your brother asks you to do something, just listen to him. And you know, but hey, do I really go that way? Sometimes, but nah. He's he's eight, he's eight. I have, I have and he said, well, it's not him, it's the daughter part. She had like, she the mama, so she be telling him what to do, <laughs> so. Um, but honestly, I can't say ever since um, everything started taking effect and I've been doing my treatments, um, he's he like, mommy, you okay? Mommy, you need something? Or, or he tell my daughter, like, if she call for anything, oh, no, you need to go put on a face mask because my mama can't get sick. So that's, it's yeah, that's like, beautiful. You, you, yes, it's beautiful. It's, it's a nice experience. So as far as what my kids, like, you know, they, they, they coming along with it. But I never broke the news like, hey, it's breast cancer because I don't know how he would, um, he you know, process that. It. I don't want him to go online looking up things, right. you know, that scare him. So what I told him and how I broke it down was perfect and he's more than helpful. And, and you know, my daughter followed line along with it as far as with him. Okay. So... What advice, because you're going through this right now, what advice would you give to other young women that are facing similar challenges or just in general? Because I recall meeting you a few years ago and there's no way you could have anticipated this today. You know what I mean? So um, obviously, number one would be to do diligence in my opinion and and kind of pay attention to your body right um so this is the thing yes uh pay attention to your body um because for me uh that's the first thing first um i do go to the doctor my regular checkups i stay on top of all of that um but that's the funny part because you know for women um, especially when you're young, they don't give you mammograms and all of that in that area unless, you know, they have experienced something beforehand or whatever. So I had just got um, my breast checked by my OB um, in 2023 by his hand. And I, you know, it wasn't nothing there. So came in November, that's when I um I observed something of being an issue. My lip nose underneath my armpit. It's like, it's considered your top of your breast there, but it's like your armpit as well. Right. Uh, it was like poking out. So I was like, dang, this is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on here. Like, what is taking place? So I was thinking like it was like 
put them in my bra, my bras I wear, the wires, whatever. Or I thought I pulled the muscle because, you know, I, I throw packages at, you know, at work. So as time went on, I was like, yeah, I'm going to see. I'm going to change up my bras. I'm going to see, you know, if it's that. Um, as time went on, that's when an enlarged mass in December was has formed. And um, I was like, dang, my, you know, my breast hurting. Like, you know, like, let me, let me really get this checked out because this is, I don't know what's going on. So uh, Christmas Eve, um, I went to the hospital and um, I had them to check it. And they did an um, ultrasound. Okay. So when they did the ultrasound, the lady was just like, yeah, um, I, it, it could be a cyst or whatever. I said, okay. I went home. I follow up with my OGBYN and I had him to check again, like, you know, with his hands or whatever. He did that. And he was like, yeah, I think you should see a breast position because it's very tender. And I said, yeah. So I ended up, um, later on that week, I received a letter from the hospital because a radiologist had reviewed um, the ultrasound. So they sent me a letter to my home and was just like, yeah, you you know, you need to follow up with a breast physician immediately. So I, I contacted the breast physician. They they wasn't going to schedule me till the end of July. So I'm like freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know, these people is not going to tell me right, or, right. you know, or the hospital won't send me a letter. So, you know, then I, I kept calling and they kept calling and they finally got me in. January the 4th. When I went in January the 4th, I got um, my, the biopsy, the mammogram, and the ultrasound done. And then I got my results on the 16th. So I do highly recommend anyone, not just young women, not just um, older women, even men too, like, hey, go get checked out. If something's wrong, go get checked out. Um, but more so for the women, like, yes, regardless if you're young, it's, it's getting to us young people too. And the funny part is mine is a genetic. Every, you got different types of breast cancer. Mine is a genetic. So with that being said, um, yes, I do ha- highly recommend for, um, go get your checkups done. Okay. Especially if you know for a fact, um, you know, you have family history of it. Um, and for me, my family history um, is not coming from my mom's side. It's coming from uh, my dad's side, my dad's dad, so my granddad's side. And I didn't really know, like, the family history of it behind it. So as time went on, I started learning new stuff about it and stuff like that. So that's what I highly recommend for, you know, the women, young, old. Go get checked up. Go get checked out. Stay on top of it, and once, hey, if your results come back, you know, stand 10 toes down about it and do whatever it takes, and that's what I did. Okay. So, throughout this experience, what has kept you motivated? Because you you seem like you still, you still grinding, young lady, you grinding. (laughs) Oh, what, what? keeps me motivated the top is uh my kids because um as far as with me doing um my treatments um i won't say well i i i I haven't by the grace of god experienced the worst side of it um i'm still able to eat i do have a little changes when it comes to the taste um, and I, I do feel sometimes that, you know, the anxiety part can, you know, affect me or I be really tired at times, but my kids are my top, top motivation. And the reason why I say that is because I, you know, for me to be young, like any little thing can cause us to give up, like, right. you know, news like that a person don't want to hear news like that because the first thing a person think is like oh I'm a guy and that's what everybody you know when I broke the news to family friends they cried and I understand why the tears but for some of them they it was more so of like oh like you know 
why what and and hey I understand but for me I didn't want to hear that because I know what God has planned for me you know so my kids are my top motivation because it's like okay listen I'm gonna get through this because I got them I know the Lord ain't gonna snap you know I'm not gonna be called home I won't say the Lord but I know I'm not gonna be called home and to be the maker and, and, and I got them here even though he blessed me with them you get what I'm saying so it's right. just like I, I push for Jim. I push, I push for them. So, what are you most looking forward to in the future? Um, as far as with me going through everything that I'm going through, I, I, I just, as of right now, um, I just take it day by day, week by week, to get through this. And as far as once I get through this, um, in the midst of me going through this and getting through it, I just want to, uh, for future eyes, help anyone else. And, and it don't have to be major, because I understand some people, you know, can accept the help or whatever. And what I mean by help, it can be praying, talking, um, uplifting the next person. Um, I even had in mind of setting up a foundation um, to help, you know, others. That's what I have in my mind. And I've been praying, I'm, a, I'm, I'm been praying about it um, and keep praying about it um, because, you know, this, this can be a really, it, well, it's not, it can be, it is a really serious thing. And uh, it can it can hurt you in so many different ways or bring you down in so many different ways and and what I mean by that is just like you know uh, for the ones that don't have support or don't have someone to talk to or you know someone that don't have someone to uplift them or financial because it, it, it costs as well <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, it costs and even if you have a job and you have insurance it still costs you know getting you know once you're deductible whatever whatever is left over yeah. that your insurance don't cover and you know even when it comes down to missing work it costs so that's what i want to do as far as future wise help someone and you know because people help me and that's not the reason why i want to help someone that's just within my heart of me going through this it opened up my eyes to a lot and there's certain things i can't really talk about right now Understood. um but as time go on, I'm, I'm eventually open up more about it. And um, so, yeah, that's that's what I want to do for future wise, help other people as far as coming to, down to this, especially the women, the women, the women, the women. OK, so I love you, too. I love the men, too. But, you know, the women. <laughs> no, I, I 100 percent understand. Um, I kind of went through a similar thing because, you know, when I first got into the post office, I felt like it was um, beneficial to me. And I wanted to share this with as many people as I could. Like, look, it's a great place. A lot of things suck at the end of the day. At the end of the day, um, it, it helped me get through a lot personally, just because, you know, just just interacting with the foolishness that I had to deal with, took my mind off of my personal situations at home. So, you know, when I started the channel, it was to help other people get in, help them make some money, blah, blah, blah. And it grew right. from there. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, there's plenty of people that still to this day, they, you know, they write me tell me, hey, you know, because of watching some of your videos, you know, I helped me buy my first home, got my first car, got me through college, paid it off, etc. And that's All just right. from sharing a lot of my stories as well as information so i respect the fact that you are willing to share that information with people because just like you said there are some people that feel alone in this situation and i have i have yet to see um on a youtube or anything like that where somebody's actually talking about you know going through the steps while they're going through you know, the trials and tribulations step by step um, uh, of going through what you're actually going through and having people, you know, inviting people in to see that because right. it's not just somebody that 
uh, you know, just a random viewer. There are people that are going through it as well. And if they see somebody strong on screen going through it, or they feel like there's availability, you know, to write you an email or reach out via, you know, uh, text message or whatever it is, it could help somebody as well as yourself kind of get through, you know, the trials and tribulations. It, some people just give up, just like you said. Yeah, some people do. And, and I, you know, it's sad to look at it like that. Like, some people do. And to me, I just feel like don't give up so easy. Don't give up so fast. Because at the end of the day, regardless if you have the all the supporters or you don't, like, God is literally with you every step of the way. And I understand. Um, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to make it sound like it's easy. It's not easy. It's, it's not. It's not. I have my moments. I have, you know, my moments where I break down. I have my... <laughs> I had a moment one time, I can tell you guys, I had a moment one time on my way to work. And and on my way to work, I was like just crying, boo-hoo crying. And the reason, the, the only thing that came over me was like, oh, like, why did I get, cho you know, chose to go through this? Like, I don't want to go through this right now. Like, I'm 29. Um, I had plans and I, it's stuff that I want to do. And I'm just looking like, like, what, what, like, you know, what, what can I do? And I called my sister. She ain't answer at the time. So I called my aunt and, you know, my aunt just gave me the words that I needed. She prayed with me. She just prayed until I calmed down. When I say I was a mess, I was a mess going to work. But I, trust me, it's not easy. It's, it's not. But I, I just want you know, whoever is going through it to know that regardless, um, just, you know, God is with us all. His hand, you know, his arm is not too short. His arm is not too long. He's with us. And I, that's, that's, you know, that's the only thing I can really say. And I pray, I pray. Um, I have to listen to music, you know, sometimes to keep me at a, a, a calm place, you know, because the devil can get in your ear. <laughs> and start making you think of stuff and, you know, thinking negative. And so I have to stay at a place where I have to be like, no, no, God cast that down for me. I have to pray about it and, and you know, or listen to music. And, and it's honestly another thing for me, this is not only going to be a journey of about that it's also going to be a spiritual journey for me because my eyes is being open to a lot and and i know you know, I, I want to get deep into i know it i know what you're referring to. to a lot it's, it's opening to a lot and and what i mean a lot it is it, it shows you who's who's there for mm -hmm. you who's not there for you it shows you you know <laughs> people would care don't care so it's it shows me a lot and I can honestly say, through it all, like I'm, I'm standing ten toes down, you know, I'm pushing through. Um, this week would have made my sixth treatment. However, it got canceled. My doctor, my oncologist, um, didn't approve of it. Um, so we'll see for next week. But again, I do post on my um, TikTok for anyone that wants to see updates. What, what, is, what is what is what is your uh tiktok uh, my tiktok name is rebirth of christine can you spell that for me rebirth yes. r-e-b-i-r-f uh, you, yeah go ahead the christine so, part mm -hmm. R-I-S-T-I-N-E. Okay. And that's on so TikTok? Rebirth, yes. Rebirth of Christine. And it's, it's a lot behind that name. <laughs> it's a whole lot behind it. I, I, so you guys I got the story. Talk. I got it. He's like, oh, he got it. I heard the story. Um, Ish. I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um... So in closing, is there anything else that you want to add to your story? And this is not the end of it because we're definitely going to check back in. I mean, I, I have your information, obviously, 
But is there anything else you want to add to it in closing? Um, no, yeah. Um, so I just, you know, I just want to thank everyone. Um, you know, I just want to thank everyone who, who reached out, the emails, the, you know, the, the gifts, the donation. I really, I really, really appreciate it all. Like, I thank you. And foremost, I thank you. That's all I want to thank you because you didn't have to do it. You surprised me, but I, I re- I'm really, I really, really, really appreciate it all um, because anything helps, you know. Um, and if anyone ever has, you know, any questions or anything, um, they can always email me or write me on TikTok. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm all up for the support. You know, anyone want to check up on me? I'm fine with that as well. But, you know, anyone that's going through anything that want to have conversation, I'm up for that as well to help anyone else. And, you know, people look at me like, oh, how are you going to try to help someone you look easy? Because as I'm going through it, you know, yes. I can help someone else. Yes. Yes. You know, I hardly overstep whatever they're trying to overcome, you know? So, yeah, I just want to thank everyone. Christine, I truly appreciate you. Um, you know, we all love you. Uh, you, 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 you are my, um, you, my postal daughter, (laughs) uh, you same age as my daughter. So, you know, it's kind of, uh, ironic, but, um, you know, family is family, uh, at the post office, you know, we talk a lot of tish with my postal family here. Um, but when it came down to it, they came through and, Regardless, we'll be arguing again tomorrow because that's kind of what we do yeah, here. That's but, what we do. <laughs> but, you know, when it came down to something serious, like I, I told them, I asked them for $1, $1. And, you know, you, you got up to almost 700 That that that, yes. that means a lot. That means a lot. Yes, people, people definitely been boring. And, you know, I just, that's like, honestly, I understand. I can tell everyone thank you one by one. But anyone that did, um, kindly donated you know i did send the hearts back through cash app and anyone that you know um you know sent anything messages i do that like i really do thank everyone i'm really like i really appreciate it like i was crying and stuff (laughs) um because i really do anything counts any like any and everything counts and i i don't know i I just it just you know put a little soft spot in my heart (laughs) Yeah, not not all postal workers are bad. I mean, we all suck, but you know. <laughs> no, um, we love you, dear. Um, you know, when the time comes and you're ready to sit in front of the camera and show everybody how you wanted to match J H with the with the beautiful dome, you know, we'll make it happen. Yes, well, it's on TikTok too. So oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I, I did, but I don't, I don't mind. I don't know if it's gonna grow back by then, but it's, it's, it's doing well. Y'all match it, we match it, we twins. <laughs> twinsies, twinsies. Mine's involuntary though. <laughs> Mine's, I just, yeah. yeah, you know. But um, I truly appreciate once again you sharing your story, your love, um, and just know that the people here do. You know, the ones that actually listen to this whole podcast, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, uh, so there's going to be a few people that are going to reach out to you. I, I guarantee yes, that. I'm fine with um, that. And, you know, the mental support uh, definitely supersedes um, everything else because everybody has something different to offer. Um, yes. And I know you uh, continue to say thank me. Um, I don't accept thanks well from anybody, <laughs> um, not from my postal family, not from you. Um, I do what I do because my blessings come later on, you know, in a different place. Um, All right. And I don't look for thanks. I look for exactly what you said you were going to do later on in life. You go and make sure that you help somebody else because yes. it oh, makes yes, the world a better sure. place. Right. All right. Much love, Christine. Um, I appreciate you. you taking out your time for us. And um, no, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, and again, people can reach out. Um, they can contact you 
however it, you know I respond do you have um, a separate email set up like a, a personal email that I can leave in the video description or in the comments for them to email um, you yes so it's S as in Sam Christine C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E 0937 at gmail.com Okay, so you'll you'll text me that. That way I can put it in the pinned comment when I post this video. Yeah. Well, don't be scared. These people are going to write you like they ain't got no sense. I got emails I ain't read for weeks now, but yeah. All right. Hey, hey, I'm fine with that. All right. Much love. We will chat. And uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to owe. I'm gonna owe you about you know a few hundred because I'm times is hard on my end. I can't even <laughs> afford to eat dinner tonight because of you. No, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> nah, I'm joking God here. Bless you, Look at that. <laughs> yeah, he blessing me right now. I'm able to involuntarily lose the weight that I've been trying to lose. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We out, Postal Family. I appreciate you. Bye. Thank you. This is Jay.